and this team figure and welcome to my channel today we're going to explore a bit more differently and we're going to do a lot of art and craft looking at the first theory of Paul Klee Color. It has always been an inspiration for many artists to paint new brighter imaginations. As new Isaac Newton has found out the spectrum of light where we red and yellow together combined can have a new color. Which later inspired a German artist who developed the color theory within his work, telling us how complementing colors in his color wheel from an opposition side can really blend in well into the work but not many artists knew how to blend in the color yellow and the velvet. Clay's developed color wheel became a cross-referencing tool and one of his theories that can be found in his pedagogical work sketchbook. Some of his work would be Senecio, Falmouth and Landscape with Yellow Birds just to name a few and today we are going to do a painting inspired by his color theory. For this project you will need a board for you to put on your acrylic um, paint on, bits of sponges, an old folder for you to draw um, your portrait on, a couple of brushes just for you to um, use your paints with it, acrylic paints of course um, for you to use, a marker is very much um, preferred cups, scissors, a couple of stationery of your choice, eraser that's important and um, your blackboard of course for you to use later on so first step for us to do is to quickly write your diagram or your inspiration that you would like to draw on your painting and our inspiration as you have seen in one of Paul Clay's painting it would be landscape with yellow birds Please excuse my mistake on this scene. I honestly did not notice um, the effect of writing on top of a blackboard. Um, really, my deepest apology. But yeah, you just gonna write out, draw out your your painting, your vision, and just quickly cut out all the outlines of the drawing. Looking at all the variety of those colors, make sure you tape your um, your diagram on the blackboard with your masking tape. Forgot to mention you are going to need that also, and um, to keep your really portfolio on stuck on uh, the blackboard because you are going to need it. Stay put and this technique the way I did it 
it is us it's very um re- recommended for you to base your height a little like um try to make it a little more white yeah mix your white in so that your color would be as visible as possible because if you just put in the purple in it's just gonna look dark and not so very visible but looking at the inspiration of um, uh, post clay painting on landscape with yellow uh, birds it is very it's bright colors so use whites do not be afraid dab of it as an underlayer color and then your actual color at the top As you can see, I was starting to paint out the yellow birds. I used an eraser. I shaped out the 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 shape that I want for the birds, of course. And um, I used it as a stamp to make the pictures, uh, the shapes of the bird, uh, symmetrical, all the same throughout the picture. Yes, and um, use it as a stamp really um use color yellow and then finished it off with the brushes as you can see i was putting in details and there we go here's the finished product make sure you subscribe like and comment and joining me doing this wonderful painting inspired and really getting inspiration from the landscape of yellow yellow birds by Paul. Okay, the German artworks as you can see we've done a lot so please do join me next time 
as we explain many more of the steps and often practice with you. From Miss T. Vega, have a great day and have a great life. Bye.